Greetings, friends. This is Eric Rucker, the director of the Simpson College Youth Academy program. And we wanted to take a few minutes to pause and celebrate the end of another successful program year at the Simpson Youth Academy. As a reminder, the Youth Academy is a program grounded in the conviction that high school students have gifts and power and insights we need to transform the church and the world right now. We seek to help young people prepare for college and young adulthood, to explore their faith and its connection to social justice and service, to create a community of love and inclusion for young people, and to give them tools for vocational discernment so they can listen for how God is particularly calling them as agents of peace and justice in the church and the world. We're proud of the ways that we have adapted over this last year to meet the evolving needs of teenagers in our context. Specifically, we built curriculum and focused on the connections between mental health and faith, on the ways that young people can navigate social media and technology with the guidance of their faith, and how to help young people discern the difference between unhealthy and healthy relationships. We were also excited to pilot an alumni track at the summer residency, and so we had a, a second year group of students join us this last summer, and we plan to continue to offer an alumni track for the summers to come. This innovation allows us not to just work with students for a summer or one year, but into two and three and four years of journeying alongside these young people in their faith formation. A number of thanks are in order as we mark the end of this year. We want to thank all of our faculty and staff and volunteers who work tirelessly for SYA. We want to thank the families of all of the young people who help young people prioritize their spiritual growth and leadership development. We want to thank all of the churches, all of the youth missioners and Sunday school teachers and youth group leaders, all the lay leaders and clergy who give their time to these young people, who have nurtured and cared for them before they came to SYA and also welcome them lovingly back into their communities as they leave SYA. And then of course, we wanna thank all of our other donors and allies, so many people in the community who give so many unique gifts to support and nurture these young people. Thank you to all of you for your amazing and generous support. And last but not least, we wanna thank these young people themselves, the scholars, for all of the work that they've done, for having the courage to lean into the SYA community, to ask deeper questions about faith, and to explore how they are growing into young adult Christian disciples of Jesus Christ. In a moment, I'm gonna turn it over to those students themselves and some of our staff to reflect on and testify to the ways that God has been moving and transforming their lives in this last year. So we wanna say again, a thank you to all of you for your support. And we hope that these words from these young people can be at least a small snapshot into the transformative work of the spirit that you help create through your generosity to this program. Thank you and peace be with you.
Hi, my name is Veronica Benros. I'm a senior from Clark High School from the town of Osceola, and I did the SYA retreat this past summer thanks to my mentor, Brenda Hernandez, who nominated me for this opportunity. I am very grateful to Brenda Hernandez as well as the SYA committee that made the process of applying simpler and the, the, sorry, the experience as a whole um, very welcoming and enjoyable. Um, through my stay at Simpson with SOA, I had the opportunity of meeting intelligent, creative, and positive friends who opened my eyes to their own experiences, different from mine, um, which made the whole experience so much greater. Um, through SOA, I was able to experience the Christian faith in a way I never had before. I also learned and was invited to express my own opinions on difficult topics that aren't normally open to younger audiences such as climate change and social justice, which inspired me to make a change in my own community um, through my calling, through my faith. SYA was an experience I will never ever forget and I'm very grateful for. Hi, my name is William Brown. I am from Altoona. I was a part of SYA and it was impactful to me because it has changed the way that I approach my faith from following what others have told me about scripture and through preaching to being able to analyze the text myself and come up with my own interpretations of what faith should be. Hi, I'm Lydia Dobson and I'm from Albia, Iowa. And SYA was impactful to me because it taught me a lot about religion and how to get closer to Christ and how I'm able to um, become more involved in my faith and more involved in teaching. I'm Kate, and for me, SYA was most impactful because I was able to grow in my faith and my leadership skills. During SYA, we took multiple classes that were taught by different people about what it means to be a Christian in today's society and how we can use our faith and our Christianity to live a better life and to better society. Hi, my name is Ella Sturderman, and I'm from Des Moines, Iowa. One reason that SYA is super impactful to me is because before attending, I primarily did service projects. That is what I did, that's how I showed God's love. But one of my goals was always able to verbalize God's words, being able to look in the Bible and being able to explain God's message to other people. And after attending SYA, I was given the ability to do that. And to me, that was super impactful because not only can I show God's love to people, but as well, I can verbalize it and I can show them the true meaning of just a couple words in the Bible. So I'm forever thankful for that. Hello, my name is Brian Monacary. I attended the S. Sumson Youth Academy um, summer youth program uh, last, last year during the summer. Um, I've attended every event ever since. I enjoyed every single one. So, um, that's why, that's why I, or Simpson East Academy has been impactful to me because I, it's just friendly people and, um, good teachings and, uh, just o overall good things in general, um, from there. Yeah. Hi, I'm Edie. I'm a junior at Johnson High School, and SYA has been impactful to me because it's been a space where I can grow in my faith by asking all my questions and learning with uh, a diverse group of people. It also has been great. It's been a great supportive community that builds relationships that last way beyond the week. Hi, my name is Alex Johnson. I'm a member of Osceola United Methodist Church, and SYA has been impactful to me because it's given me a community that I can belong in and a community to hold me accountable as I enact God's love in the world. SYA has also been a large part of my discernment process as I figure out what God has called me to do in my life. And so it has been one of the most impactful experiences in my life, both when I did it as a scholar and when I have done it as a mentor. My name is Brenda Hernandez and I'm a senior at Clark High School in Osceola, Iowa. Last year, I was a mentor. The year prior before that, I was a scholar for SYA. And this year, I will be a mentoring again. SYA has impacted me in so many ways. I've been able to learn how to ask questions and validate people's feelings when they have questions about religion, social justice, and faith. As a mentor, I'm able to work with others well and help build each other up, and it's really awesome. These past three years that I've been in the SYA program have been so influential for me as a person. 
I've learned so much about who I am as a leader, how I best connect with people, um, the things that I truly care about and the difference I wanna make in the world. It's been so incredible to get to talk to so many people who have different ideas about how to best make change, what change God wants to see in the world. And it's just been really affirming for me as a Christian to be around so many people who believe that God wants justice and God cares about all of us. It's really relit a fire in me that I forgot that I had before this program. Hello, my name is Diane Watson Eberhardt and I was honored to serve as wise person with the Simpson Youth Academy. I want to extend my congratulations to this year's graduates. It's been a such a privilege to walk with you on this journey. One thing that I took away from Simpson Youth Academy was the reminder to love God and love neighbor. Those are the most important things. And as you continue on your journey, I send you blessings and peace. Congratulations.